The Western Isles contribute much to Scotland by way of culture, heritage, language and landscape and are key sectors of tourism, aquaculture, food, drink and agriculture bring benefits beyond our shores. We are optimistic about the future, but island life can be challenging. Ferry issues, whether it be due to weather or an aging fleet, make island life challenging. This is compounded by the inexplicable choices central belt-based bodies, tasked with responsibility for lifeline ferries, make on our behalf. There have been decades of underinvestment in ferries by successive governments. Choices have been made to prioritize investment elsewhere above the needs of our islands. Instead of replacing a single ferry each year, an investment only enough to allow the fleet age to stand still, islanders have been asked to make do and mend while billions are spent on trams, bridges and motorways. The government deserves credit for its decision to introduce road equivalent tariff, RET, which makes travel to our islands more affordable. This has certainly helped our economy to grow. Despite ferry travel being more affordable which has increased demand, there has been almost no increase in capacity and ferries are increasingly constrained. In addition, while government has stepped up and invested, the wrong choices have been taken by Calmac, Kmarland Transport Scotland which has exacerbated the situation. Had islanders been consulted, different choices would have been taken and we would have the services we require for less expenditure. £240 million has been invested on Western Isles ferry services. This sum is made up of the cost to deliver the MV Lock Seaforth into service and a new ferry and infrastructure to service the routes between Skye and Uist and Harris. The latter decision is compounded by the current shipyard debacle which is likely to see the ferry delivered four years late at significant additional cost. When options for the Stornoway route were consulted on, island voices were united that the solution should be a two-ferry service. A new ferry alongside the MV Isle of Lewis, operating from existing infrastructure at a cost of £30 million million. Independent consultancy advice supported this proposal. However, Kmal, Kalmak and Transport Scotland favoured a single large ferry, financed by Lloyds Bank, and harbour infrastructure investment at a cost of £31 million. The total bill is now known to be £90 million. The ferry cannot operate on another route and the displaced MV Isle of Lewis can only serve Barra and is not particularly appropriate for that route either as her design means she is limited in terms of freight capacity. With no local engagement, Kmal, Kalmak and Transport Scotland decided to order one new ferry to replace the MV Hebrides on services to Harris and Uist. No island views were sought and no eye for more on this story, visit the news article link.